very good morning to all of you who are online with the uh, HR Festival and this session. Um, I'd like to thank you very much uh, for the Ministry of Manpower of Singapore to invite me uh, as representative from the Ministry of Labor and Military and Social Affairs of Vietnam to present to you our Vietnam's response to address the impacts of the COVID-19 on the labor market. For your information, I'm the um, Deputy Director General. My name is Duke. I'm uh, in charge of ASEAN Cooperation in the Department of International Cooperation of the Ministry. So uh, for talking about the impacts of uh, uh, to address COVID-19, we'd like to say some more information about the impact of COVID-19 in Vietnam. And then we will mention about the government response to the crisis and uh, some of the, our proposal for the way forward. So for the COVID-19, uh, we know that uh, since January 2020, we have first cases in Vietnam uh, on the uh, positive case. And uh, by that time, since that time until April, it spread out, but not really seriously. And up to now, we have a second wave and the total affected cases is only 1,077 uh, cases. And of that, 35 fatalities. Uh, though we have a very limited number of the positive cases, but we also see a lot of the uh, impacts on the labor market, on the livelihoods of the people. And uh, with that, uh, because uh, we, we know that because of social distancing, because of the quarantine, uh, many of the businesses are seriously impacted. So on the labor forces, we can see that um, uh, on the, in the first six months of the year uh, 2020, the economic growth decreased deeply, where we see the GDP uh, growth rate reached only 1.81%. I, I think it's also good compared to other eco economies, other nations, but still we see it uh, normally is around 6.7% last year, but now it's only 1.8%. And 86 businesses negatively affected in what is stock across the Dow. And um, the revenue of uh, business in quarter one fell to 70%. So this according to the government statistics and also the report from my ministry. For the uh, impact on the labor force, we can see that for the first, quad uh, first quarter of 2020, 53.55.3 uh, million uh, was uh, um, no, um, and it introduced about 672 shops. Uh, in the part two of 2020, the employment is around 53 uh, million, uh, it reduced by 2.2 million compared to last year. And uh, the participation rate still was at uh, 75 percent but we see a lot of underemployment and also uh, the news in the uh, salary uh, so we can see that uh, most uh, impact sectors uh, including the processing and manufacturing one uh, because of the uh, social distancing because of the less uh, order from customers uh, all over the world and hospitality and catering of courses uh, relating to the tourism Education and training also are heavily affected, and the wholesale retail industry, repairing cars, etc. You see uh, in my slide uh, many of the uh, statistics here. Uh, for the impact on, uh, uh, we see that the basic labors, uh, the, uh, the the low labor labors decrease 1.5 million jobs. Semi skilled workers and craftsmen are uh, uh, around more than 500,000 jobs and immediate professional, uh, professional and technical occupation decreased around more than 300,000. Uh, we also see a lot of the impacts on the migrant workers working uh, overseas uh, with the difficulty in employment uh, reductions and also sometimes they because of the businesses. Uh, the health uh, accessibility, the health care, uh, and some, many of them cannot be told due to the travel restrictions, though their contract closes. 
Uh, so um, it also create uh, with this difficulty, it create a lot of difficulty to the families, to the, the workers' incomes and the living standard of the people. Uh, we also see on the impact of the enterprises uh, here, uh, material supply was interrupted output uh, because of the less demand globally, as I mentioned. So that's why uh, many of the enterprises in the textile, wire travel, aviation, restaurant, hotel, logistics are, are heavily uh, affected and reduced in terms of the um, revenue and uh, so uh, uh, with that, uh, we see a lot of the actions response to COVID-19. And we see through uh, the survey of the, our Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry on the current situation of the enterprises, we see that 66.8% uh, of enterprises apply labor-related solutions, uh, like a constructive solution, like organizing training for workers, promote e-commerce, uh, um, but, but organizing training for workers account for 44% of the enterprises surveyed. Uh, and we also, uh, the enterprises also apply detrimental uh, solution like uh, uh, alternating uh, reduced work, 39%, uh, uh, reduced labor around 28%, and unpaid leave 21%, and reduced labor with 18%. Uh, so, we can see that uh, for the reality of the COVID-19, no country, no single country can cope with uh, the impact of uh, COVID-19 alone because we are in the uh, regional uh, uh, integration, global integration, all of the economies are connected and we are connected through flights, through travel. So it can like uh, have a heavily impact back to all over the world when one country is uh, affected. Uh, I think this is a very good lesson learned that we can see in this uh, process uh, that we need to work together. So what about government responses to that in Vietnam? We try to work on the way we protect our people, maintain our livelihood and cooperate with our partners. Um, for the, um, to protect our people, we are, the government of Vietnam rapidly introduced the containment measures, including the early issue of the National Response Plan and establish a National Steering Committee on Epidemic Prevention by end of January. Uh, I still remember after that holiday on the 3rd of the lunar calendar, 3rd uh, of January uh, um, of cal lunar calendar, the Deputy Prime Minister organized very urgent meeting when we know that there's three k two cases in Vietnam are positively uh, contracted to the COVID-19 and they are foreigners, they are traveling to Vietnam and then they uh, discover that one. So we have, uh, even after that, every day they need to have a cabinet, uh, cabinet meeting to update on the situation and uh, about the uh, responses. So that's why uh, we could manage to control it to a very limited number of the people by that time. Uh, and then we also have some strict containment measures, non-essential service set down, restriction on movement until early of April. Um, okay, so uh, I have five minutes more to talk about that one. And we also have uh, uh, rallies of community support. We um, uh, try to inform all the participants, all the community uh, levels to support with the containment on the and the uh, surveillance of the COVID-19. We involve the army, we involve the policemen, we involve the local authorities, we involve the mass organizations, including the uh, women's union, farm, farmers' unions, uh, everyone who are working together for that one. And uh, the information are regularly updated uh, with a very transparent way. Uh, we also have uh, the resolution on to maintain our livelihood. The resolution, resolution number 42 on measure and support package for the people in difficulties, where we provide the direct support to seven targeted groups most affected 
that is postpone application social insurance fund, allow uh, the use of unemployment insurance fund for training and retraining. And uh, also we, uh, 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 with that package, we have a total about 62,000 uh, billion, uh, billion Vietnam dollars. Uh, that is a 2.7 uh, trillion um, US dollar to uh, billion US dollar. Uh, for the, uh, of that, the state budget cover around uh, 36,000 uh, billion. And social policy bank also provide the uh, zero interest rate to loans to the enterprises for payment for the salary. And we have also funding support from other policy rest. We take it from the local uh, budget of the localities. And we also involve the civil society in the policy making process. We also met with the business on May 9, 2020 to tackle the difficulties and the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce Industry uh, also conduct their own assessment report, make recommendations to the government policy. We also focus on maintaining jobs, directing support to business that retain workers and enhance online employment transaction, apply IT in connecting supply and demands, and also we try to support the migrant workers through the different channels, particularly the, through the diplomatic uh, measure, um, mission and also the labor attache in um, um, the uh, country that are uh, affected. And uh, from 20 to, um, and we work with the government of, say, um, of receiving country in order to protect the rights of the women, uh, of the migrant workers. We, uh, and from 20, uh, 23rd of April, uh, we uh, have a plans for repatriation uh, to renew it and uh, to, so migrant worker can return the, uh, the positive uh, worker who are positive cases can also be returned to the arranged flights by the government. Particularly, we have a flight from Equatorial Guinea, Guinea where we pick up 219 hour uh, about workers. Uh, of that, uh, we identify uh, by by the time we they return, it was announced to be uh, more than two, uh, 100 cases of uh, positive uh, cases. But uh, after that, after we recheck and um, re uh, examine, it's uh, 20 cases uh, confirmed. And uh, we also negotiating with the country of uh, receiving country to uh, support for them, of course. And also we cooperate with our partners uh, to reopen the international travel welcome. The, um, yeah, the, the, and also arrange the flights for the you know, foreign experts to come and work in Vietnam, of course, uh, following the Vietnam instruction, government instruction on the quarantine of COVID-19 for the safety of our community. So for the way forward, we are now looking uh, most for the, of course, we come up with the new normal as other countries, we try to promote the um, State, uh, the, the business development, but also to ensure the safety for our community, for our workers. We um, try to work on the issues of the employment creation arrangements and also the promotion of uh, businesses in, uh, opening, reopening, we can create more um, jobs for our people and also to address other issues like uh, uh, social inequalities applying the safety for the uh, workplace. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much. I think my 50 minutes is over. <laughs>